in this video we're going to do the best way sand filter this is the best way sand filter best way sand filter there we go in that comes a manual uh, have the base plate This isn't needed. Well, it goes on top of here just for the purposes of filling the sand. So when you fill in the sand in here, which in our case I'm not, so we'll be using it at all. But if you're doing sand, you want to put it in to fill the sand, and when you put it together, don't use it. Put it to one side. sure when you get it make sure when you get it that that is screwed on tight there this is the drain for drain draining the water I found the best way of holding it is just hold it Covering it like that off to the side a bit. And then once you start getting a few balls in, you'll be able to just fill them around the sides without going in the hole. I'll be careful not to put them in the hole. I might want to just put like place my over as on just grab a pencil and fish it out. I do have some left in the box so it's got a max and minimum line here inside here is a maximum and a minimum line I can't really show you because it's hard to get to it but basically don't go over the max I don't think you go over the maximum line so if you don't go over the maximum line you'll be alright filter filtration system I believe that just pops on so there I don't know if you can see that very well I'll just have to check the camera that you can see it so it literally just Tubes. Right, this box comes with it. I'm just gonna get rid of the main box now. Apparently, whatever you do, when it's on, move this, when it's on, when, turn it off, and then move this. But I'll just put it in the play position for now. Apparently, you don't need to backwash with the balls. I believe you don't have to backwash with the balls, but you can backwash with the balls, but you don't need to backwash with the balls. Um, I just 
you take you're gonna I'm gonna take the balls out and clean them that way. About once every couple of weeks to a month. sides of here like that so I'll show you that now so I missed out that the rubber grommets or rubber seals go on the inside of this filter head um, and then same on the actual filter. There's one that goes in there, I think. Yeah, it doesn't go on the on the actual. Doesn't go on here. It goes on the actual device down here. Let's see if we can get a better shot. So just down here goes on here. Yeah. If it gets put down on here, it's just gonna get leaks. And don't forget to put them on. goes in here as well. I'll just show you that. One that goes in front of here. I did the filter head. So one on that side. Bring you in for a close up. Best to show this side I think. So the rubber ring. And then it goes in there on that side and then the same on the opposite side there's another one exactly the same just goes on the other side don't forget to put them on once you get leaks there we go please like and subscribe um. Now just a quick one before you go to pull side. <clears throat> I believe the one on the box does show the nice fancy big one that go that goes onto the side of the pool, but the one they include with the actual filter is this one, which isn't the one with the like the nice right angle and it sits up sits sort of like that and then at a right angle to the pool. I think they include this one with it. So that just goes into the end of the hose. So rubber ring going in to create a seal. There's no seal between there and there and there. It just goes more or less straight in to the connection. Um, try and do this with a million things in my hands. And then just tighten down onto it. And then that'll go. So imagine your pulls here and you've got the long bit just pointing out. And then basically it'll go over the top of that. But before you go over the top, you have, or well, you can just go over the top. Make sure you plug your pull first if you've got water in it. And then you've got the clips that go over the top like that. All the way around. Right. Just try and get that on. It's a bit fiddly. I don't know if you can see that, but this just basically just then tightens onto the pole. And then you've got the connection there and the seal there, so it just 
make sure that's hand tight. And this you don't want to do it too tight. 